So, we were searching STDs, and we led to the most <laughs> revelatory thing ever, which is that she murdered the fuck out of her parents, who were not great at being parents because they abandoned her at birth. Just well, didn't keep, didn't even want to bury it. Uh, oh yeah, you know. Yeah. That is kind of fucked up. I they, didn't think about really, that part. They really casually abandoned the body. With based on little a little lip service, they just completely like abandoned their baby. Take <laughs> it like, away from me. I don't want to look at that thing. You can definitely see why she would be resentful. <laughs> yeah. But she definitely murdered her parents. So, because yeah, I, I got a little mixed up because they had already said they were living with parents. So but I had to was, remind myself Simon's they were living. Parents. Yeah, they're living with Simon's parents. Hannah and, then and Simon Hannah's parents were living died. with Simon, Simon's parents, uh, and then Hannah and Eve's parents died. Eve was living there and took over the house. Yeah, so that's the real reason. That's actually the real way that Eve was reintroduced. Is that they actually moved back in with Eve without the husband knowing because she was a creepy secret attic lady. Yeah. I s we still gotta figure out that where, where that whole thing falls in about her meeting Simon at the bar. When she was singing at the bar and he says, oh, you look a lot like my wife. Well, I think she went to the bar a lot because she was, she was like sleeping around and Is stuff. It, you think that's when she was sleeping around and... Yeah, I think it was during the, that period. I was hoping that Simon gave her the SD because I would thought that was funny. <laughs> that would be funny. I don't know how, like, but, he was just sleeping around. But I'm also like, is this one of those STDs that you just kind of like... You just kind of like take some meds and you get past it, or is it like she's stuck with this for life kind of STD? Because mm, there's it, uh, that's, just, that's that's an important difference. Well, luckily, luckily there is a very large portion of them that are the go away with penicillin, uh, yeah, antibiotics kind. She was un, she was unspecific, so I was. You like... You don't want viral ones. You don't yeah. want uh, HPV, HIV, or uh, penicillin. Is that how you spell penicillin? Or herpes. How do you spell penicillin? <laughs> that, I think that is how you spell it. Yeah, okay, so it, it doesn't come up again. Penis. <laughs> penis. <laughs> penis. Does that killing. come up with anything? Can you please type that? <laughs> if you don't take penicillin, it's gonna be rather penis killing. <laughs> Peepus. <laughs> don't mind me, I'm crooked. Trying that's that's to my new. Keyboard. Peepus is my new preference. Peepus. Nope. Peep <laughs> dog. <laughs> Nobody has a dog? Oh, that's why everyone's killing each other. Yeah, a bunch of crazy. They're unhappy. Cat. Why is cat? That's coming? why they're murderers. They have a cat and no dog. No, no cat. My or parents had a cat before they died called Domino. It was this little black thing with white dots. And we never did anything about the cat flap, but if you were thin, you could maybe squeeze through it. No way. We already talked about that. All oh, right, we did mention the cat flap before. So we have a narrative about a femme fatale of some sort, and then they reference a femme fatale by having a cat named Domino. Is that a... What, who's Domino? I only know the, the cramp song. I think she's played... And that you might know, yeah, Domino's he a goes Marvel by the character. name of Domino. I think she was... Yeah, she was in Deadpool 2. But I think before that, I think she was played by, like, Kieran Knightley in another movie, like, a decade ago. Hoo-wee, that, that's fine with me. But she was in, uh, but she was played by this lady in, uh, in Deadpool 2. She's the, I think she's the character that was just lucky in that movie. Like, it, everything just worked out for her. Is that, like, that her power? That was That's <laughs> yeah. pretty cool. And the, and the best part of De Deadpool 2 is the, is the entire sequence that's showing every, what everyone's powers mean in action. <laughs> and one of the best ones was, like... The luck character just kind of like just walking through the chaos and just nothing's <laughs> happening to her and you, she just instantly solves all the problems you guys i got pulled over for speeding <laughs> that's the one. i got pulled over for speeding <laughs> and the cops ticket writer machine didn't work and so i didn't get a speeding ticket which was important because you I had felt lost like, your id oh my gosh i had lost my so id, ID literally the day before and you got pulled over <laughs> You were literally the, you were literally like I'm afraid to drive. I think I'm gonna get pulled over. It, it was, and then you it was, immediately got pulled over. It was the over. first day I was driving without a work. license because I just lost it. I just lost it. Are you Keith, Domino? Keith was nice and took me to the bar where I thought I had lost it and it wasn't there. So, <laughs> <laughs> but his machine didn't work and I was like I'm the luckiest person this alive. This person doesn't exist. Oh, yeah? I don't know what the blonde wig is, but it could oh, be anything. What? Have you looked at the cat flap? Okay, we gotta she look up. Keeps bringing up the cat flap. We also gotta look at the wig. The wig, because she mentioned that before. We love our cat, Domino. 
Um, he had this little bell around his neck to stop him from killing birds in the garden. <laughs> we used to write each other notes oh. and put them in the bell, and we could send them to each other. Mum found some of the notes once, and she thought I was just writing to myself because our handwriting was identical. That's not, I don't think that's how it works. We had our own <laughs> words for things, so she didn't quite understand them anyway. Is that why people... Wait, is that why cats have bells? Well, it's also so you can find them. But so yeah, it, never, it is I've, also so they can't kill things. I just know there's a stereotypical cat bell thing. I never really thought about the idea. It's like, oh, it scares off their prey so they stop bringing you dead things all the time. That, that is a part of it, yeah. <laughs> I've learned something. From, I like That's one of the things I like about playing just heavy on story and detail games. I just keep learning things constantly. Yeah, no, I learn things from video games all the time. Yeah, yeah Animal Crossing taught me a million types of fish. Uh, and I freaked out my third grade uh, teacher by knowing how, knowing the word Tuknoctiklen already because I played Age of Empires 2. <laughs> so I knew about like the green belt and stuff like that in Mesopotamia. <laughs> <laughs> Your teacher's just like, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I knew all these things I wasn't supposed to know yet because it's like second or third grade. But I was playing Age of Empires 2 a lot. Like a lot. I was, I was the kid that watched a bunch of gore movies and went to school in second grade and told people about body parts. <laughs> we have seven entries on wig. Seven. A wig? You mean... But what type of wig? Uh, we could also look at blonde after that. Yeah. No, I've never worn a wig. What kind of wig? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's not useful. Why do they do that? Yeah, they're trying to be mean to The only thing I can think of is that they, they might be anticipating you typing a certain word. And they want to make you have to flex and have to, like, narrow it down. Oh, so they want to they flood they, it so with they, other entries. Yeah, they pad the five out with shitty entries so that you have to search harder to get the last entries. Type in blonde because they said blonde hairs earlier, like in reference to hairs they found without saying wig. Yeah. Six entries on blonde. No. I think he spoke to Helen. She said he was upset about her argument, but I'm not sure what else he said. He likes Helen. He likes blondes. Uh oh. Wow, wow. And the other twin was wearing a wig when she was performing. Is Helen the character we've known about this whole time from the beginning? Was, no. It's like Simon's. No, that's husband. Diana. Diana's the one we know. Diana. Knew. So look up Helen. Helen. Helen is of a blonde. Troy. It's the Rockington Arms, The Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. The bar. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with. And the barmaid they're having sometimes, Helen. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. We look up The Rock then. So Helen is the barmaid at, at the, the Rock. Rock. Which is the pub that Simon goes to where he met freaking blonde version of his wife. Oh god, I don't know. I mean, I guess The Rock. You've spoken to everyone there. Someone must have seen where he went. I don't know. So many things could have gone wrong. No, no one has been in the last few weeks. We had a plumber come in three, four weeks ago. Someone sang with me from The Rock. Hmm. Okay. Look about performer or the, performing. Because the or... rocks is the rock is important because if you don't count the murderer, it's the last place he was seen. Yeah. It was the last place he was seen, but they tell its story. No, they're plumbers. What did you Do say? Do a performer perform. or perf like something like to try performer first. Um, was she like I don't know if she's a dancer or a singer? I think I forget. No. Oh, wait. oh, wait. Maybe she, is a, she performs. Try. A... So they, they heard that she performs probably, and then asked her to perform. Like, oh yeah, bring the guitar next time. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, look up. Maybe guitar. So, look up. So the one who performs is Eve. Is Eve, unless they both know how to perform, because they have um, to have the same skills probably. Well, no, but that's when they broke off or whatever. Oh right. So that's Eve. No, but she has short. She doesn't have a tattoo. Yes, yeah, she does. It's behind the water bottle, isn't it? No, I think no, it's no, the, no, that, I think that's, that's the exact. No, effect. no, do it because that's the one that 
click on it because that's the one that you said I, I pointed out earlier. I'm like, she doesn't have a tattoo, and you're like, I think it's behind the water. No, you said it was behind the water. It is right there. Oh, shit, it is behind the water. Yeah. We, we already had, like, we did this with the same clip, I think. Oh, did I take the opposite stance of yeah. saying there was a tattoo, and you're, and you're like, no, uh, and I was like, yeah. no, it's behind the water. Oh. <laughs> Run back and forth, and then I remember it the first way. <laughs> Keith and I are twins. Oh my god. We'd be bad at that. Yeah. <laughs> at this, at least. No. No, Simon didn't play guitar. He wasn't very musical. Oh, they found the guitar. He liked to listen, but he was tone deaf. Loser. I think they found the guitar, and they're asking her about it. But it's Eve's guitar. Yes. Yeah, it's my guitar. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, surprise, right? Oh, we have a guitar. Yeah, it's my guitar. Simon doesn't play guitar. He sucks. Yeah. Getting greener. Still a lot of red. There's a lot of red. Um, like a, how about if there's like a bar? And I, I had to check because I was curious. So I, I looked for like spoiler, it, like spoiler free threads about it or whatever. And uh, there is a thing that can happen eventually. We don't just search forever, and then the game just like you just like run out of ideas of what to search for next. You're like, I guess I think I know what happened, and then you close the game. <laughs> like there, there will eventually be at least some kind of thing. If I were to guess, it, it probably triggers based on percentage of entries found. Like you probably get like maybe like eighty percent done. They're like, hey, it's time for hey, a test or something. That's pretty good. But I, I had to confirm just whether or not like it's like is there a goal we're going for, or do we just like it, be, uh, decide like eh, I'm satisfied? Well, I, I, just, I know what I, happened. I think the percentage of people that would be able to fill in all of them would be very low. Yeah, it seems like where did it dad? No, we're missing half the entries. <clears throat> uh, father, father. <laughs> Pa Papa. She says dad a lot more, but she says mother and mother instead of mom, right? Uh, yeah, she says mom too. She says, oh mom. yeah, there's mom, but mother was used the most, I think. I think you already did that one too. Death caps for cutie. Yeah. So I was trying to remember how many entries there were for mushroom. There's only three. How do you narrow down dad? Daddy Dom. Daddy. Dad jokes. <laughs> wow, that's three comes results. Up. Oh, yeah, remember, she well, spills the water, remember? Oh, yeah, remember but she spills the coffee or whatever. But it's also not in quotes. Oopsie. Because if it's, if it's quotes, it's verbatim, and that exact phrase has to come up. But if it's just fuck and me, then it's just those two words have to get used at some point in any, in any order, anywhere in the story. Play. Because they're siblings. Yes. There's an abstract one. No one uses it for very much. There's a printer so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes plays games. You know, climb the tower, save the princess. That kind of thing. Uh, more allusions to Rapunzel again. Yeah. Um, Amstrad? What is that? We're not British. No, I have no idea. I think it must be a computer or something. Amstrad. <laughs> the best people out there. I'll like, Google the real world. Oh, yeah, yes. it's, yeah, it's an oldie computer. Oh, yeah, because it was the 90s. So it was like sad old computer, like a Commodore and shit. Yeah, Commodore yeah. 64. Yep. I only know that from video game review videos because I've never seen one. Oh, yeah, for the longest time I didn't know what a Commodore 64 was. I always assumed it was just an old console. So when I saw one, I was, I was like, it's... Wait, that's that's a computer. Computers have to have used to have like video game console names. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and be like a really it was like, a, it was like a, and it was like a really concrete thing, like a phone. Like this is the i7 or whatever the fuck. Like it was a specific thing. Whereas nowadays you just like get a computer. Like that's a computer. It's, it's full of chunks of stuff. <laughs> chunks <laughs> like the, of stuff. Because they can just mix mix and match the parts, and it's like they might have particular models they like to sell in stores, but overall, like just they're just computers. So. Look up, know. look up bar, and then remember she called it like the rock, because or the, yeah she calls it something else because there's like a name for a bar in the rock or the rock something. Nothing else happened that night. We talked, then I said goodbye. Then next week I was singing the bar again, and there he was. And again the next week, he offered to buy me a meal. 
I told them I had already eaten, um, and so we got chips and ate them on the beach instead. When we said goodbye, he asked me to kiss him. <laughs> Romantic. We're probably talking about Simon there. Romantic. We got an achievement called Romantic. The Simon or the STD guy? <laughs> see, yeah, see, yeah, now I'm kidding, now. No, she's because she's talking vaguely about just some dude that well, just well, bought her but, chips. But earlier she was talking about, yeah, but still, but she at one point she's talking about. Like, she, I think the guy that shows up again and again and again is the guy that says, "Oh, you look a lot like my wife." Which or is whatever. Simon, right? Yeah, that's what I'm assuming. Because who else does she look like? No. I told her it was one of my boyfriends, someone I had met in the bar. Pregnancy. <laughs> I think she was happy. Oh, yeah. But I could tell she was thinking, why couldn't it happen to her and Simon? They were the ones with the real life. Why not them? Mm. So she did go get pregnant from Simon when she was singing at the bar. She makes me wonder, when was she out on her own doing stuff? Or no, uh, the the head they call, or what's the what they call bars in Britain? <laughs> Ask Sean of the uh, Dead. Oh yeah, it's called the it's called the the pub. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say something like the head's a bathroom, huh? I mean, he drinks, but not very much. He goes to the pub and has one or two. Sometimes we go together. He drinks wine with food, but. Nah, he doesn't have any kind of drinking problem. Because you're thinking about the Winchester? No, the no, Winchester, no. The Winchester pub and Shaun of the Dead. A long ass time ago, at the very beginning... The dogs can look up. <laughs> dogs can look up. Can confirm. Uh, Kiki, look. Kiki, look at me. She's not looking, so That was she's... a joke I never understood, because I'm like, anyone who's around a, a dog... They just immediately look up at you. So I'm like, what the fuck is this? Who, who, who's never seen a dog? <laughs> well, so, some dogs like tilt their head to look up. Like, they, like I think what he's saying is that when a dog's head is like flat on the ground, it can't like move its eyes up. But, but, they, but they totally can. They can. It's just a lot of dogs won't. Rhea gives you all those sad eyes. Sad eyes. Yeah. But like, no, but like some dogs don't. And some, but I think a lot of people would question it for a split second. They're like, do they? <laughs> And then you see a dog, and you're like, well, that was a stupid question. But a lot of dogs just move their head at you. They don't, like, actually, like, move their pupils. <laughs> well, I can't look up. I don't know. Could be anyone. Maybe someone follows him back from the pub. But why would you let them in? Doesn't make sense. Because he loves them. So you're wondering, like, what what is that? what does the head mean in British? What does the head mean in British? <laughs> head, definition of Cambridge English <laughs> Part University. Part of the body, above the neck. <laughs> head is a, it's a head, some, apparently a unit of measurement, too. Um, Oopsie. Slang. I mean, we're just going to... To give someone head, Yeah, I was no. going to say. Head, British slang. Cockney rhyming slang. A loaf of bread is head, apparently. A head of bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are getting a lot of, uh... Yeah, no, this a is... A lot of this too many. There's gonna be too many versions of, uh, of head. So, oh, that's just gonna be a bunch of phrases. We're not gonna get anything. It's fine. Someone out there tell I me. I just type head. Nope, dead. <laughs> No. No, but that's that's not the word that she uses. It, it's it's like when she's giving the timeline of what happens to him. She goes, "Oh yeah, he he heads to the the, the rock, the oh yeah, the we, blank." We'll, we'll just have to go back to the rock. We'll have to type rock again. Well, she says rock, and, and then she we'll says find, comma because it's the full name of the bar. The that's no, what we're talking about, right? No, it's like rock. Like he went to the rock, comma the town's blank. But she doesn't use the word head or pub or bar. She uses a word, and you said, "Oh yeah, that means bar." Oh, at the, like at the beginning of our playthrough practice? Yeah. She, uh, she referred it to as our regular, I thought. Oh, is it? Is that what she says? I think she said our regular or our something like that. It's, it's something that something that implied that it was like their 
like a standard place they would go to, some kind okay. of word. So I was gonna say, I was gonna say maybe, implied, maybe instead of typing in bar, type in that, but I don't know. It implied I didn't remember like what familiarity. It, what it was. Yeah, I, I'd have to, I, for that one, I'd want to type bar, I think, because that's what brought us out in the first place. Then I'd check a couple of them, and she'd use the word again. As, as you might imagine, the word dead comes up a lot. <laughs> what? It's all that matters, really. The baby. Simon's dead, but the baby, <clears throat> that's how he will live on. Our baby. Um, mm. That's Hannah, though. Eve's the one that has the baby. What year is that? 94. I mean, no, no, sorry, not year. <laughs> like, what, what order is that? 6-3. Is that before or after Orange? Is she early or late? Uh, actually, that's the earliest. That's the earliest one. Wait, it was 6.30. I'm such an idiot. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, orange shirt was before that. Oh, so this might, this might be Eve. Yeah. But she um, does have two cups of coffee. <clears throat> so It's a little it, hard to say. It goes blue blazer. Oh, um, by the way, you can write down the date for the for the, oh, the skin type blue shirt. The navy seven blue. Two. It's 7-2. We don't have that on the list already. For the dates, I think everything else here is in the list already. It got it. Yeah, that one is second to last. Inmate shirts sure still last. You're reaching here. I don't know why. No, I've never cheated on anyone. I've never taken anything from anyone. Simon's dead. But I have my baby to care for. Why are you trying to make me sad? Why are you so obsessed with sex and affairs? You cheated on your wife. Is this your thing? Don't try to spin She's that. She's taking it places. Yeah, don't spin that <laughs> on the poor interviewer guy. Yeah. It occurred to me that it's two people that are trying to switch off with each other and so on. But one of them's pregnant and the other one's not. So she must not be showing yet. Otherwise, it'd be really hard to like play this off. That's why I, I was because all these interviews are like over the span of like a week practically. That's why I was confused when she like spilled on herself and she stood up. I thought the whole point of that was for us to see if she was pregnant or not. Yeah, but I, I don't know if you can tell. But then I was like, like I was like, I they can't. would know if the, yeah, was... she keeps becoming pregnant and unpregnant. It would really fuck up her ability to switch around. I don't think she looked that pregnant. I couldn't tell though. I couldn't say like for sure. So I don't know. I think the pregnancy might be pretty new. Yeah, because her her being pregnant, uh, the guy the guy finding out she was pregnant in the crash, is is her alibi. Is so that's the other thing is she's trying to use an alibi based on the fact that there's two of them and them not knowing there's two of them. <laughs> so like one of them was actually there, so her alibi works, but it's actually because she's two people pretending to be one person. So what? Which act? Oh, so, yeah, yeah, the alibi does work because, yeah, how are you gonna? I, mean, I can't be in two places at once. Ha ha ha. But, but that, obviously but you can because you're fucking But twins. the next complication there is that if she had the alibi and she's pregnant and her being pregnant is checks out in the alibi, doesn't that mean that Hannah killed him? If she, if she's off making them, giving them an alibi. Um, oh yeah, it could mean that. Well, yeah, but then wouldn't she be, like, complacent with that? Like, wouldn't that be a planned... It seems, it's, it, in that case, it would seem like that like Hannah was complicit in killing Simon. Or maybe she just took advantage of the fact that she was gone. Maybe she, like, the Han or one of them did hap- One of them. Hannah did happen to actually be gone. Wait. No, because Eve's the pregnant one. Eve's the pregnant so one. So Eve has to be the one in the alibi. They went to the doctor and everything, so like they must have checked the baby. She claimed that they could check the records or something and prove something, which would mean that she'd have to be actually pregnant, which would make Eve the one securing the alibi and <laughs> Hannah the one that mur murdered Simon. They never really figured out why she drove off in the first place. A after we watched this uh, eyeball 
Let's we can bottle. do cheated affairs or sex. Because I'm wondering about all that. Rehearsed? You ask me the same question, you'll get the same answer. Yeah. Is that your evidence? Of course I thought about what happened then. It's all I've thought about. My husband is dead. He has rehearsed. It does seem rehearsed. <clears throat> that, you keep giving like very similar yeah. answers again and that again. That was when we got the search for searches where there was two adjacent videos that were the same story it verbatim. It's, I feel like it's happened a couple other times too. Yeah. Where I, I'm like, oh, well, that's a very similar. But in, in that particular case, it was because the two of them actually did rehearse their story because they had to trade off and be able to answer it the same way. But they're tra they're 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 practicing too well because they're telling the same story word for like word verbatim. Yeah. Yeah. Because they both sat there and memorized it. Like they're pre preparing for a presentation. So, yeah, I was gonna say the. Sex. Sex? Yay! Oh, sex, baby! Really? You're going to ask me about my sex life? Yeah. I mean, isn't that private? You're in a police station. So is Nothing is private in a police station. There's nine entries? Yeah, we do like affairs and then cheated. Might come up again. Are you married? How is your sex life? Are you implying that <laughs> we got a uh, detective got sergeant? Yeah. But there's not a picture though. So, our sex life is probably fairly average for a couple after ten years of marriage. Damn. Oh. Oh, that's sad. The uh, the achievement was uh, it. It didn't have anything to do with the. Uh, the, the uh, memory either, so it was, it was probably based on percentage of uh, database. Oh. it's We had a milestone. Looks like it might have been, it might be 50%. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It is, I feel like it looks like... It feels like it's not getting any, any closer. <laughs> no. It feels like we're not making progress. No. You're talking to the wrong person if you think I'm some kind of slut. If you think I'm the kind of person that would have had sex with all those guys. <gasps> oh, they probably found the various people that, that Eve sex, was having sex yeah. with, and so they think that she was, and she doesn't know. No, um, I was 15, Carl was Carl. Older. 17, I think. I was really into him, regardless of how he actually behaved. Lots of drunken teenage sex. We did it in a church once. It's stupid. So he got tired of us and we split up after about six months. It was sad, but those early experiences, they help you realize who's really important to you, you know? Family. I guess we finally know who killed him. Carl, that Carl. kills people. <laughs> well, that Carl actually comes up again. Carl. <laughs> Was he my first? No need to be so coy. She's way more open about this. He wasn't my first. That would have been Carl. He was a local boy in a band. Oh, cute. He was a bit of a shit. But he was sexy. We were 15. Not we. One of well, you was 15. No, no, we, the Bull sisters. Oh, yeah. He said he got tired of us. Family. So, Carl fucked off, and then there were other boys here and there, and then Simon. Hmm. Carl. Oh. Hannah was so smitten with Simon. Smitten? She started getting jealous. Didn't want to share. Even the first date. We went to see Tom Cruise at the old Odeon. We both went. Kept changing places in the toilet. We only had the one best dress, so we had to keep swapping clothes. <laughs> Must have thought we had terrible bladder problems. The next date, it was my turn. Um, at the end, I let him kiss me, but that was it. We didn't want another car on our hands, and the Ouija board had said to hold back. After that, it was Hannah's turn, and she slept with him. Broke the rules. 
deliberately broke the rules. She wanted to be the first to sleep with him. <laughs> I mean, that's when she got pregnant, from that one time. There's a few things going on there. One, so Hannah slept with him because in the previous date, Eve stole the first kiss. But also, they were trading several times in one date, which just sounds like such a huge pain in the ass and a weird commitment. But like also, they take advice from a Ouija board. <laughs> we should maybe look up the Ouija board, too. Yeah. Um, it sounds like some, like, freaking plot point of, like, a Drake and Josh episode or something. Yeah. Like, some, like, teenage, like, we gotta switch places. Like, <laughs> you know, some dorky, like, I don't know, some antics. It's a, it's, it's a bizarre Nickelodeon antics, yeah. When beautiful people died, we always felt like it was a sign. You remember Princess Grace? Grace Kelly? Grace Kelly? She died in a car crash the year before we met Simon. Uh, that's Diane. We used a Ouija board to right? speak to her, and that gave us the power to find him. There's lots of cars. That's what we thought then. That people who die tragically leave some kind of magic behind. We used to share dreams. We used to wake up and write them down in our diaries immediately and compare them. Hmm. And she woke up dreams? Yeah. I gotta look up if freaking Grace Kelly died in a car crash too. Nope. Grace Kelly? Never comes up again. Grace Kelly? Grace Kelly. Hmm. Whoa, Grace. Hmm. Save your Mom, money for dad. Your children. Whoa, Grace. Mom, Dad brought one more. <laughs> <clears throat> Mom and Dad. Mom and Dad never knew what was going on. We got so good at it. We were so in sync that we'd use each other to cheat. If one of us had a hangover, the other one would go to school. Whoever was best at a subject would sit the exam. There were lots of differences between us. Some things. One is better than the other. Well, we know. We know there's lots of differences between you. We're seeing that. What are you going to? Are you going to ask about my sex life? No need to be so coy. Ew. Like there's such a gap that even the even the police officers inevitably are going to have an issue. Like this. Uh, this process is way more scrutiny than I think they were ever ready for. Because, like, you can't... If you're well, not actually the same the, personality, you're never going to be able to permanently be, pretend to be each other. But the but all, all of the really confessional stuff is when she's wearing the white shirt. Yeah, well, that's and because that, that's when she I think seems she's already, to have given up. Yeah, I think she's already found out. But, um, by the way, way, I want to say, Grace Kelly actually did die in a car accident also. Well, not in the accident. She died later uh, as a result of an accident. But... Boy, is Grace Kelly one of the most beautiful women that's ever lived. I don't think I know who Grace Kelly is. She was in some Alfred Hitchcock films. Uh, she was in Rear Window. And she... Ooh. Princess. He wasn't the presence so much as it was one of those arguments that had been simmering for a while. The present was a mirror. A nice mirror. He didn't break the glass. The kind of mirror a princess would have in a story. He made it especially for me. Or did he? And then it got smashed. Oh yeah, it's hard to say at that point, because he doesn't know the two people. Let me see. Yes. I drove in here, because I remember, well, I went over the river. And then there was a church. There. Yeah. And I probably part. Well, I remember seeing a street sign called Princess Street. Princes. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it must be this one. There. I'm a little surprised that princes came up when I searched princess. Um, it's not spelled the same way. Yeah, but I wonder if the game like threw you a bone because they're hoping yeah. you like how else would you find that? So that's her. That's her continuing to lay out her her her, her alibi. Yeah, we were seventeen. You know what I mean. Said. Simon was <laughs> very handsome in the photos. His parents paid for everything, but he's an only child, so it was important to them. It was what they called a shotgun wedding, but if you looked at the photos, you couldn't tell. 
the dress was beautiful. It looked like Princess Diana's. <laughs> the train wasn't quite as long, though. There's a great photo of the bridesmaid helping to carry it out of the car. <laughs> I always thought, growing up, I was always like a little like, huh. Because I was always aware that like the age of consent was 18, so I was like, this song's a little iffy, isn't it? <laughs> oh, the Beatles, yeah. uh, was, was it called just Standing There? 17. If you know, you know what, what I mean. And the way she looked it was, was way beyond, beyond compare. compare. How, How could, could I, I dance, dance with, with another? Oh, when I, I saw, saw her standing, standing there. Hell yeah. 